Alright, let's do this. Trapped, the band who brought you hits such as Headstrong, Headstrong, Strong Head, and the Headstrong Radio Edit. They came back four years after 2016's DNA and a very, very long and torturous Twitter meltdown by their frontman, Chris Taylor Brown, who essentially is another douchebag. He essentially just picked a fight with just anyone. He probably attacked his own fans. I don't really know. This is what happens when you let the Make-A-Wish kid take over Twitter. I've been putting this off for seven months since it came out. I think it's came out May 2020. So, this has been a long time coming. So, after seven months, I finally mustered up the courage to listen to the whole album. And I'll be honest, I almost fell asleep a few times. Let you go, Jersey, yeah. Do we have more time? I knew that going into this, there were going to be a lot of mellow songs, just judging by the song titles. I didn't expect it to be the whole freaking album. Oh, I don't, I don't have enough words to describe how just painful listening to this was. This is essentially Chris Taylor Brown trying to be edgy and sing about his feelings in a terrible way. The dude's 40 now. I think he needs to have a bit of a reality check. This is not the same band who wrote Headstrong. Just like the same way when Linkin Park released One More Light, like, this isn't the same band that made In The End or Numb. And when Asking Alexandria released Like A House On Fire, this wasn't the same band that released The Final Episode or Stand Up And Scream for that matter. This is not a trapped album. Even though it's got the name, this is not a trapped album. Musically, it was just very boring. There was a simple riff, simple drum beats, generic ass lyrics, and just like mellowed bass, like you could barely hear it. This was very painful. I know I make edgy songs, but at least I'm creative with my names. These song titles are just really depressing, even for my standards. <laughs> for like songs called Make It Out Alive, Tell Me How You Really Feel, let me down slowly, far enough away. Like, it's just, I can already tell what a bulk of this album is going to be about. And it's called Shadow Work, which is the practice of healing and self-growth, which means it requires surrender and acceptance. Before I listened to this, I just thought, if every song on this album isn't an apology for bashing everyone on Twitter, then I'll be damned. I don't want to, I don't want to do this any more than you want to listen to this, so let's just... Let's just get into it. The album starts off with Make It Out Alive. Instrumentally, this was actually semi-decent. That's probably the best compliment I'm ever going to give for this album, no matter how many times I listen to it. The lyrics are just very generic, which, like, I, I'm gonna make it out alive, said over and over again. I'm gonna stand my ground. I will survive. It just sounds like everything I've heard before. And based on the lyric video, I'm assuming it had some kind of political message, but I don't know. He is a huge Donald Trump supporter, so we may never know. I want to want what I want. I almost had a stroke reading that. I don't even know where to go with this one. It just sounds like an entitled man singing about how he never gets his way. Tell me how you really feel. I think Jared Dine said it best when he described this song. The only melody that I remember off the entire album is from a song called Tell Me How You Really Feel, which sounds like a soundtrack to a Disney teen flick romance scene in which the characters are disagreeing with each other. I, it's honestly just something that I hear from a Bon Jovi record than I would hear in a Trapped record. Like, it's, is, is this the same band that wrote Headstrong? It is? Shit. Too little, too late. Dude, just lay off the acoustic guitars for one song, please. Like, yet another mellow song. It's just, like, just step it up a little, like, in the tone. I know I make depressing songs, but that's kind of like my brand. That's just what I started on. You guys are a rock band, and so far, there is not a single heavy song on this album musically. Lyrically, there might be some heavy hitting stuff, but right now, I'm just not feeling it. Maybe because you just made an ass of yourself on Twitter, and Facebook, and Instagram, and pretty much got kicked off of every social media site in the goddamn world. You're only up on YouTube now, because that's the only way you can like, advertise your songs now. Far enough away. I can already tell this is just gonna be a butthurt love song before going into this. And you know what? I was right. 
Here we go again with the acoustic guitars and the generic lyrics. I had to stop halfway through this just to control myself because it just sounds like everything I'd ever heard before just bottled up and thrown back out again. There was a comment on the video of this song which is basically just four minutes of looking at this. And it said, when you ordered Nickelback from Wish. <laughs> Look, my only comment on that stem is I actually like Nickelback. I don't like this album. Like, it's just, no. Also, Chris, just a, just a quick tip. This is just on mute. This is just, this isn't just a, a critique on the song. It's just a critique on the video. Like, I can go on and on about how terrible this song is. But, like, just a quick tip. If you want to make your music video look believable, plug in your guitar. Plug in your guitar, mic your drums, and have a microphone to sing with, for God's sakes. Just... Just, just the thought. Turn Me Around Again is just two lines in. I can already tell what this song is about. Like, did you write this album, like, around a campfire? Like, because it definitely sounds like it. If this was a concept album, this could have worked. I, I split my album, A Perfect Tragedy, out right now uh, into two acts. The first half has all my relationship songs in it. Half of them like, are about me, half of them aren't. That kind of works. And then the other half is just everything else like that is where that something like this could work because I've, I'm already like track six in I think this is like the fourth song in a row that we have a relationship song or a third song I don't know this just does not work I'm sorry but it doesn't work like I'm not even trying to promote a perfect tragedy anymore this is just sad the song it was just so incredibly dry repetitive and boring like I can't put this into words enough. Let me summarize this song for you. Hey baby, I'm gonna leave, but please take me back because I secretly want you back, but I'm gonna be a man and wait for you to come back and take me back, and I want you to make this decision. Am I on the something, Chris? Trying too hard. This is track seven, and this is the first time I've actually heard their guitarist, whatever his name is, actually try to write a solid riff. It's not that bad, and I commend the guitarist for it. What I cannot commend the band for is the lyrics. The lyrics just ruined it. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with my hands, but screw it. Like, this song is called Trying Too Hard. And it is literally trying too hard. It's just trying too hard to appeal to older Trapped fans, especially this late in the album. If you're going to try and make a Trapped-like song, like an older Trapped song, put it first in the album. That's kind of like just track listing 101. I'm just, I'm losing it. I'm losing it at this point. Let me down slowly. To quote tonight, my whole world dies too. Shit, here we go again. Shit, here we go again. Another but heard broken relationship song. Like, again, like, I can't, I, how many times have I said repetitive lyrics or generic lyrics? Either or. This one's just super repetitive. It's just, at this rate, I'm slowly letting myself down because I took time out of my day to listen to this album. I could have been doing something, just, just anything else than listen to this album. I could have gone back and listened to MGK's album more than I would have wanted to listen to this album. Too far away. Okay, now I'm getting confused here. Because you, you already have a song that's called Far Enough Away. Either give it another name or call it Far Enough Away Part 2 or something. Just make up your mind. Like, Far Enough Away or Too Far Away. Make up your goddamn mind, Chris. Okay, on to the music. Like, this is actually the first time that I actually hear the bass in this album. We're already, and we're, this is like track... I think this is track 9, I think? How shocking, I'm hearing the bass nine tracks into this catastrophe of an album. This song, much like the whole album, is just basically, just feels like a therapy session for Chris. It's like, how do I cope with my own feelings because I'm 40 and I don't know how to do that. Can you please help me? Get you back. All these songs at this point, they're just sounding exactly the same. It's not even funny anymore. It lacks originally both musically and lyrically. It's something you'd expect me to write with lyrics such as, I'm tired of being alone, even though I have a song called I Want To Be Alone. Hold and be held. I've literally got nothing to say about this song that I haven't said before, so let's just move on. And finally, we're at the last song, Save Your Soul. Arguably, this is the most tolerable song on this album. That's what I thought until I listened to the original song. It's a dual cover, and I listened to the original song. Then I went back and listened to the trap version, and it was just... No. They didn't even write the full name. If you're gonna make a cover, at least name the song by its full name. Just, not just half of it, for God's sake. 
I can't wait till Chris just tries to comment on this video. Just like, oh, you little punk ass bitch. Send me your Pandora stats. Or send me your Spotify stats, you little punk ass kid. Dude, come at me. Overall, this album is just straight garbage. No memorable melodies, generic lyrics, generic instrumentals. Make It Out Alive was the only song that was actually half decent. I didn't want to rip my ears out listening to it. But everything else was just, just... I need to listen to some pure, heavy Satan after this. I would have given this a zero if I hadn't heard Make It Out Alive, so this gets a one. If you want an album to listen to, perhaps listen to my album, A Perfect Tragedy. I'm sure it'll be worth your while. I'm sure it'll be better than this. It has originality, so don't listen to this album, whatever you do. Even if it's the last thing you do, don't listen to it, and goodbye.